Marvelous Mangroves was first introduced in the Cayman Islands in 2000. Marvelous Mangroves follows the basic principles of teaching and learning. Students learn best when the learning environment is supportive and productive, the learning environment promotes independence, interdependence and self-motivation, the learning process includes hands-on activities and not just plain pedagogy, students are challenged and supported to develop deep levels of thinking and application, Assessment practices are an integral part of teaching and learning, and learning connects strongly with communities and practice beyond the classroom. Many countries have incorporated marvellous mangroves into their education programs. Each country has its own 300-page marvellous mangroves curriculum, and these are introduced after intensive teacher training and curriculum development. Phase 1. The process is long and intensive and involves in-depth, painstaking work from translation to adaptation, from illustration to editing. Local knowledge is everything, from teaching to biology, data collection to community participation. That is why the program must have a local partner with access to local knowledge and the experts to use it. This group is from our partner CLEAN in Bangladesh. It's in the final stages of curriculum development. Translation into the language of each country presents its own challenges. The Brazilian group is from Instituto Bioma Brasil, our local partner in that country. Translation into Portuguese. Translation is often a complex process. For example, in both Bengali, Bangladesh, and Mandarin, China, many familiar words can have different meanings. Hence, the written material needs expert language review. In every country, there are different variations in flora and fauna. For example, the Caribbean has only four species of mangroves, while countries like Sri Lanka have over 70. The text must be relevant to the ecological sciences of the country marvellous mangroves is to be used in. Think local, local, local. There are no tigers in Honduras. Check out those magnifying glasses again, this time in Xiamen, China. More critical than just about any other factor is that marvellous mangroves must be directly linked to the local curriculum, science, social studies and the arts. Teachers have enough materials to cover in class, thus having a prepared interactive and project-based curriculum that covers their main learning objectives makes marvellous mangroves a very attractive resource to them. Once a final draft has been completed, it is extensively reviewed by experts in all areas of speciality, from the local language to the earth sciences, and everything in between. Phase 2. The second phase of the program is the implementation of marvellous mangroves in the schools and classrooms. This involves a series of three to five day teacher workshops to introduce teachers to the materials, which are then followed by teacher-student workshops. Once a core group of teachers has been established, they then take over the workshops in conjunction with MAP's local partner organisation. Mangrove clubs are also formed with each of the schools. The Marvellous Mangroves curriculum is broken down into five major chapters. Each chapter has a series of lesson plans together with backup scientific and social studies information, data and illustrations. Each selection is covered in detail in the workshops. Here, Australian teachers review the properties of different mangrove species. There are over 60 hands-on activities outlined in Marvellous Mangroves, with more added each time we go to a new country. This one shows Belizean teachers trying to clean up a simulated oil spill. Activities of this kind are the best way to reinforce information learned through pedagogy. A workshop held just after the tragic oil spill in the Sundarbans reinforced the ecological damage such a spill can cause. Data measurement equipment is also used in all Marvellous Mangrove workshops. Here Bangladeshi teachers check out the DO content of brackish water from a mangrove pond. Other water testing equipment varies from salinity testers to pH meters, secchi disks and thermometers. Data from selected sites is then shared with local universities and colleges. This third group of 36 Belizean teachers take the three-day Marvellous Mangrove workshop which show them how to integrate marvellous mangroves into their national curriculum. Every graduating teacher receives a certificate of completion and a core group is selected to continue to train the trainers. 
It's then up to the teachers to bring marvellous mangroves into the classrooms, as this Brazilian teacher is doing. These students are identifying and studying aquatic mangrove species found in the mangroves, such as crustaceans and hydrozones. Each country is different in terms of flora and fauna. The different species of mangrove flora and fauna are described and drawn in detail in each country, and their functions and benefits are reviewed through hands-on examinations as well as from detailed information sheets. And, of course, there's the taste test to check out the salt extrusion from different parts of the different species. The second chapter takes an in-depth look at the complex and detailed mangrove ecosystems and their relationship to different species, as well as their place in the ecosystem. Food chains and food webs are examined close up to discover who and what lives where. There's a strong focus on birds because they play such a vital and visible part of the mangrove ecosystem. In this activity, students are exploring the main features of feathers, how and why birds oil their feathers. This innovative board game shows the migration of the black-faced spoonbill, which is one of the endangered species that it migrates down the coasts of Asia, linking many different countries. As usual, humans have a major impact on mangroves and that are where they are found. In section 3, several of these impacts are examined from oil spills to bioaccumulation, to the world of garbage and its long-term impact on mangrove ecosystems. This pollution soup activity brings home to teachers and students alike the impact of human waste on our daily water supply and drainage of sewage systems. These Belizean teachers are demonstrating the sewage primary treatment process, basically just filtering out the solids. Section 4 is devoted to field trips and field observations. It demonstrates through water quality data measurement systems the state of water samples both on and off site. Microscopes play a key role in this process as students collect mangrove water samples containing detritus. And these are then examined back in the lab to identify different microscopic species and evaluate their importance. Where possible, MAP purchases microscopes, which it then donates to schools. Microscopes are an essential part of learning about the microorganisms that constitute the basis of the mangrove food web. Where possible, MAP provides schools with rechargeable light source microscopes. In many rural communities, this is the first time students, and even many teachers, have seen and experienced the wonderful microscopic world. Their response is a combination of wonder and total absorption. During the field trip, water samples are either collected for testing in class or the testing is done on site. Here, Belizean students are testing the pH of a mangrove water sample. Section 5 is all about making change. Having explored mangrove ecology in the classroom and in the field, students are then shown ways in which they can help protect mangrove ecosystems by changing the way they live, like cleaning up and recycling garbage and waste. And this extends to their communities, introducing everything from ecotourism to CBEMR, mangrove restoration. Here students are observing upside-down jellyfish species while working towards the protection in their Cayman Islands. Workshops are continued as the use of the marvellous mangrove curriculum spreads through the region and then the country. Teachers who have been trained in previous workshops continue the training program spearheaded by MAP's local partner organisation. Food webs are always a hit. The understanding of mangrove ecology is expanded in each school with the addition of mangrove clubs, which in many schools take the place of science clubs to help develop and grow students' knowledge of mangrove ecosystems and the species that need them. Teachers, students and organisations that have explored their mangrove world through marvellous mangroves can now link with each other around the world through the exciting new multilingual multi Marvellous Mangroves Education Forum website www.marvelousmangroves.org Marvelous Mangroves has also played a vital role in mangrove ecotourism as members of the local communities are trained to help tourists understand the true value of mangrove ecosystems. This training is taking place in Koroni, Suriname. Exposure to the science-based Marvelous Mangroves curriculum has led many students to pursue careers in that field. And here's just two examples. Olá, tudo bem? Me chamo Clemente Coelho Júnior, sou do Instituto Biobrasil. Pesquiso manguezais há mais de 25 anos. 
E foi através da ciência que fui motivado a levar conhecimento aos professores da rede pública, através do guia didático Os Maravilhosos Manguezais do Brasil. E a explicação é, porque eu acredito na educação, pois é através da educação vamos atingir a conservação. Tchau! This was a spark that ignited my passion to study the world through observation and experiment, which is a definition of science. This interest in science led me to my current career as a scientist at the Royal Tower of Cayman, where I work with a great team to ensure that our natural water resources are protected from pollution and that the potable water all across the Cape Towns is of the highest quality. Marvelous Mangroves is already being used by over 250,000 students, thousands of teachers, in hundreds of schools in 15 countries worldwide. Join us and our vision so that children are better prepared for the future, better connected to their environment, and develop a true conservation ethic.